today is a very good one uh it's something that everyone's been waiting for a long time for me to address but here we go we're gonna get right into the video yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jess from Jess Insight. Today I'm finally addressing the elephant in the room and I can't wait for you guys to enjoy this video. If you don't know already, I did do a reel on Instagram that is starting to pick up a little bit that shows my journey into sports and how I got from where I started to where I am today. A lot of people because of that have been asking a few questions so I thought I'd go ahead and wrap it up here in a YouTube video just for you guys to refer to, look at, have some questions that hopefully I can answer. Of course, if there's anything that doesn't get answered, definitely hit me up, keep asking those questions. Who knows, there might be a part two. Uh, but for today, I'm just gonna address a few things. I did take a few notes just so I know exactly where I'm going with this video, how it's gonna go, because I really wanna answer your questions constructively. As always, if you're looking to get into sports and wanting to have some insight into that, I highly suggest following a few of my coworkers, Jamie and Sky, on their sports biz TikTok uh, at Jamie and Sky. Uh, definitely give that a watch. I'm definitely gonna plug my girls. They're great fun to watch and get some insight in the sports industry. Today, I'm gonna start off here with saying how I got into sports in the first place. Um, uh, basically, I've always been someone who's really, really enjoyed sports competing myself. I was a triple jumper at my high school, did a lot of jumping, I did a lot of track and field. Um, I did a lot of um, little things in my high school, but sports has always been something that's interested to me. And once I found out there was a front office to the sport, I, I didn't look back. Like that was something I knew I really wanted to get into, um, which kind of got me started in the industry. Just to give you a bit of a background, I started at UCF and I went to college there for my undergraduate degree for human communication and sports business management. And I did join a club called Sports Business at UCF, the minor that's major, and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. Uh, when I started there, I started off pretty much up the ladder. I went from secretary to vice president to president. It was probably one of the best you know, experiences ever, got me a lot of networking opportunities, things like that. And um, when I did graduate from UCF, I, you know, had some offers, but decided to go to uh, my dream job, which was the NBA. And I took an opportunity there with the Oklahoma City Thunder, working in basketball in Oklahoma City. It was a great experience and I did end up just, you know, um, having a great time there. Uh, really grew my career, made a lot of friends, um, a lot of connections in the industry and it was a great, great opportunity. During that time, I made sure to keep uh, in touch with a lot of my connections and you know, one of them were there at the Bucks and um, you know, when I saw an opportunity kind of lined up and you know, I'm originally from Florida, obviously want to eventually end up back in Florida as that's where my family is. I saw that um, as an opportunity so I reached out and um, thankfully, God willing, of course, God's plan. You never do things without his will. Just able to make it work. And he he definitely provided that path for me and I was able to accept that position there with the Bucks and been in Tampa and Florida ever since. Um, so I've been with that, um, with this organization for over four years, almost over four years now. It's been great and, and it's something that I'm very, very thankful for and I can't wait to see where my journey continues. But that's a bit of my background and, and how I got to where I am now. Some of the big transitions from the NBA to the NFL that I've experienced personally was obviously the amount of people. So going from a arena to a stadium is a huge difference. Amount of people, the size and the impact that you can make on game days. Another big uh, difference that I've noticed is obviously the amount of games. The NFL only has 10 games, 10 home games typically. Um, we do have uh, additional game with the new agreement. But um, with the uh, NBA, you're gonna have like three games a week maybe, so your your season kind of goes a little bit quicker, um, definitely has a lot more in it, definitely doing a lot more game days and, and having repeated in-game uh, kind of messaging and interaction. Um, whereas with the NFL, you're gonna have those 10 games to make the most impact you can um, and making sure that everyone has a great experience. So um, there's definitely a big difference in that and that's probably the biggest thing that I um, kind of realized. 
Another big difference is definitely the NFL and the NBA definitely have different ways of doing things. So maybe um, just kind of structural processes of getting things approved and other things approved are a lot different. So definitely it's really, really cool to see the inside of like how things go up and how things go down versus in the NBA how things go up and how things go down. So it's definitely cool to see the difference between the two and you see the weight of the different leagues um, and the resources of the different leagues um, that I can say. It's definitely really cool to see you know what the NFL can do, what the NBA can do and how their league operates. Um, very, very cool process. Definitely do your research just to see the differences and if you're very intrigued in researching that, I definitely recommend I definitely recommend because it's kind of it's really cool to kind of see the differences that each league and what's important to them but that's kind of that's kind of some of the biggest uh differences that i've seen in my transition from between the leagues but uh for now i definitely want to give you and share some of my five tips on what i would do um, if I were in your shoes wanting to work in sports because I know a lot of people want to work in sports These are the questions that I would get and if I were to mentor you or share any message About getting into sports. These are the five things that I would personally focus on So number one would be your passion. What are you passionate about in this industry? What are you trying to go for? What are you what, trying to work in specifically? What? What are you what is ticking your bell? You really want to know what you're passionate about because that's going to show that's going to express when you talk that's going to be you know kind of your it thing and so you just want to make sure that everything you say everything you talk about that you're really expressing yourself and making sure that your passion is known not as a fan per se because there's definitely a lot of people who want to work in sports but they come off as a fan Working in sports is not for you as a fan. Working in sports is showing your passion and making sure that you can share that passion with others. So you need to make sure that you can separate those two and that's why I would always recommend not working for a team that you're a fan of, although most of the time you transform into a fan by working for the team. But you get what I mean. You don't want to have that uh, attachment where you're just become stir crazy. And that, you definitely want to make sure that passion comes into your work play and not as a fan space because you know, you, you know, it's definitely unprofessional if you're having, you know, LeBron James or Tom Brady walk by you and you're just like screaming your head off. That's not how it works. So you want to make sure that you are being professional and that you're in a space that you can show that professionalism and your work pa passions and be able to exemplify that. Hopefully that makes sense. The second tip that I want to give you is know what you bring. So I know this is pretty simple, but for me, knowing what you bring is super, super important. That's how you know your value. That's how you know what you bring to the table. That's how you know what you bring to a company. And you just want to make sure that everything you bring is represented, is um, used, and is um, truly valued. So I always like to say like, hey, if I know I bring a lot of creativity, I want to make sure that if I'm in meetings, if I'm in a... Um, a, a workspace environment that I have a culture that cultivates that opportunity to bring that creativity because that's what they brought me in for. So you just want to make sure that you know what you bring and you're not settling and making sure that that is not being brought forward. Always know what you bring, always know what you bring to the table and make sure to express that. The next one kind of ties into this which is know your research, do your research and know the company that you work for. It's I always say this day after day after day that you are not being interviewed for a company for a job. You are also interviewing that company to see if it fits you. I wouldn't work in a company that does not value diversity, that does not value in inclusion, that does not value this or that. I want to make sure my top five, no top five basically um, non-negotiables are there and represented. That my company that I'm looking at meets this, meets this, meets this, meets this, meets this, because you can't just take a job just to take a job. You have to be happy at the job. You're going to that job every day. You want to make sure that what you're going and representing also represents you as a person. And I get very, very passionate about that because you want to make sure that what you're doing represents you as a person. Because if you don't believe in what your company does, then why are you working for them? So you just want to make sure that you are looking into their, you know, social responsibilities to the community, what they're doing to the community, what are what they're bringing, what impact they're bringing, not only to, you know, the company, but to those outside of it, to you as an individual, to you as your family. You just want to make sure, like, what is the company doing and does it match what you want to do? Like, my company, they're doing 
efforts to make sure that I can volunteer, I can be there in places to make an impact. And so that's one of the big key things that I love. So if they didn't do that, then I don't know if it's a good fit for me. So I just wanna make sure that you guys think about these things, not just, hey, oh, I'm out of college, this is my first job, I'm gonna take it. No, you wanna be sure to like look at all aspects and make sure that it fits you as a person because these are the stepping stones that solidify your career. The fourth thing I want to talk about is networking. Networking is super, super important in the sports industry. Who you know and who knows you is super, super important. Like any industry, I'm sure someone can vouch for you and show how hardworking you are. Definitely a beneficial way to get in front of the right people. So you just want to make sure that, you know, you always are always are showing yourself and making sure to meet people and say hi to people and go to different groups on campus, go to different groups in your community. If you're a young adult, join networking groups in your city, join, you know, uh, a girls, you know, networking club or, um, you know, just kind of any social interaction. There's a lot of junior leagues in different cities. You know, there's different things that you can do to join to um, make sure that you're making an impact in the community, but also meeting other community leaders, other people who make an impact. Therefore, you can make an impact together. Hopefully that makes sense. So networking is super, super important. And then down the line, you never know. You never know what you'll need. You never know what someone else will need. You just wanna make sure you're always talking to people, getting these connections because somebody might know somebody that might know somebody that might know somebody that might help you out 10 years down the line. Last but not least, super, super important is internships. Internships during college was what made or broke me. I decided I was not go out and party. I was not that type of girl. I was there to work. I went, I had two part-time jobs and I had over four internships and one semester at one time. Like I made sure that my spare time was dedicated to sports, even if it was unpaid, even if I didn't had to drive super far, didn't matter the opportunity. If I could make it, I was going to go because I knew that I was going to meet somebody. Somebody was going to meet somebody that would know someone or maybe that internship would turn into a full time position. One of my best internships was the Orlando Solar Bears in Orlando. Uh, it's an ECHL hockey team and I really, really enjoyed that job because it gave me many hats. I was able to, you know, work in social media. I was able to work in operations. I was able to work in events. I was able to wear so many hats that I was able to figure out what I wanted to do without wasting time. So you definitely want to take full, full advantage of any internship opportunity, anytime that someone's wanting to give you an opportunity to help them out, especially in the sports industry, you wanna take that full advantage because it's gonna help you down the line a thousand percent. Um, I never would have been here without taking super, super um, advantage of any of those opportunities that held out to me. But um, I don't wanna talk you guys ear off, but hopefully you enjoyed what I've said so far. Um, there might be a part two if you guys want something more in depth, but I definitely just wanted to at least sh shoot this video, give you some information about where I started from, my uh, journey so far and how everything panned out and give you a little bit of advice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed everything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.